Always harder on the moms. Exactly. I almost cried again. The first time I brought my oldest daughter to be vaccinated, I cried like I was the baby. Now I'm here with my four-year-old, and even now, it's still stressful for me. I understand the health and why we need to be vaccinated, but still, as a mom, I have some questions. So I'm here with Dr. Darren Sachs, my children's wonderful pediatrician, who's gonna answer some of these questions for us. Dr. Sachs. Good. Nice to see you. you, I'm great. This is gonna be harder on you, I guess, than the kids. It always is, it lasts two seconds for the kids, and right. for me, I cry, you know, all the way home. It always is. We bring these little babies into you and they're just so helpless and vulnerable. Can't we just wait until they're older? That's probably the biggest question and a lot of parents don't understand that if you wait, you're missing this window where they are most vulnerable for these infections because their immune system is very young, very naive and we need to rev it up. We have kids going to school. I'm sure it's the summer you're getting tons of kids for back to school. And why is that important that we vaccinate them before they go to school in September? The public needs to be protected um, as well as the individual. So that's a great opportunity for us to protect the children before they get into these tight environments. The big question is, what are the risks? I mean, the great news is that there's probably very few things that are as well studied as immunization. There is nothing in the world that has zero risk and 100% benefit. But they're extremely safe, and let's be honest, it saves lives. I mean, it's that simple. What would you suggest for older kids? Do you prep them? Should you tell them they're going to get vaccinated? Should you just surprise them with it? I'd say the majority of kids' anxiety is the preparation, it's the buildup. And once they get the shot, they're like, oh, that was it? Right. I'd say most kids, you can prepare them. Um, it, it's helpful to give them a heads up. Okay, so I have my almost five-year-old twin boys here. I prepped them a little bit. I have no idea how they're gonna react. Bottom line, they need them anyway. I'm gonna go get them and we'll see how they do. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, Dr. Sachs. Why don't we jump up here on the table, okay? How old are you, Charlie? Four. Oh my goodness. We just clean them so off. You're just gonna feel it. Tiny little pinch, okay? Tiny little pinch. That's it. Not at all. Give me five. Your turn, Good big job, man. Buddy. Hey, Charlie, how'd that feel? Good. Yeah, it felt good. He actually said it felt good. Now, real quick, we're gonna count to three. One, two, done. What? It didn't hurt. I told you. So brave. Great job, guys. Good job. You are all safe and sound now. Always harder on the moms. Exactly. I almost cried again doing it this time. I'm so happy they didn't cry. But it's done. It's over. Now they can go to school and they're healthy. Hurts for a second. Protects for a lifetime. We're ready to go.